Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag video and I am currently 36 weeks today. So yes, the day that this video is being filmed, I am 36 weeks exactly. So we made it to nine months and baby boy is just baking in there just a little bit longer. So the reason I'm filming this today is because I actually have to reorganize this bag. I was actually in the hospital last week for almost a week and I brought this bag with me and it basically had everything I needed. So now I, I'm home, I've been home for almost a week now and I did all the laundry so I'm going to repackage this bag up and bring it and make sure it's ready when the time comes. Um, I'm still debating if I want to edit that vlog, um, the reasoning behind my admission but we'll see we'll we'll see if i if i even have time to edit it it's a long story but i can probably kind of compress it but anyway that's a story for another day but today i just want to share with you guys what i'm bringing as a first time mom so i know that what's in my hospital bag might look different than what was in your hospital bag but and other mom's hospital bags but I actually did do like a like a question on Instagram stories not too long ago maybe like a month ago asking other moms like what they brought in their bag so I thought it was pretty interesting to see what people did and didn't bring and then from that list I kind of compiled my own list to bring things that I think I'm gonna, gonna need um, but during my stay in the hospital not too long ago I did use up a good amount of stuff in here so that was a good sign but without further ado i'm going to show you what's in my bag so before i open up the bag i have these these i actually did not bring um to the hospital with me i just bought these online on amazon i can actually link these down below if you guys are interested these are super light they're like knockoff burks but they're like this foam flexible foam kind of material and I like how the bottom is like anti-skid it's very lightweight I can get these wet in the shower so that's why I got these and um they're really cute so super comfy too and they have the buckle here that you can adjust and yeah it was only like $16.99 I think on Amazon so yeah I'm gonna bring these and these are gonna be super useful I know that the hospital has um socks with the grip but i'm not a fan of socks especially going to sleep i never sleep with socks on so that's why i didn't um want to use their socks but some people do like their socks so if you guys don't mind using the hospital socks with the grip on them that's perfectly fine but i wanted to bring my own slippers because i don't like the socks and i'm not gonna there's no way i'm gonna walk around barefoot also these are good for the shower so that's why i got these too so now my bag is just a, like i said it's a carry-on size bag i'm just gonna open this up right next to me and start taking things out because i have to reorganize it anyway i will start off with um just like a t-shirt this shirt <laughs> if you guys know me and if you guys see me often i've been wearing this shirt like throughout my pregnancy i wear it like every week it's always being washed because I just love this shirt so much. It's super stretchy. It's from Old Navy. It's one of the Lux tees and the super, it's like the deep scoop neck one. It sucks because I can't find these anymore in the stores and I've been to Old Navy multiple times and I can't find them anymore. So I want, I wish they had more, but I don't like the V neck ones and I don't like the high the high collar one the high scoop neck ones this is the same one as this one but i bought these at the same time but i can't find them anymore so i've been wearing this one a lot so this is what i'm gonna wear when i go to the hospital along with these super buttery stretchy leggings that i found during this pregnancy i was actually trying to find these pair of leggings from old navy that i love but they don't sell them in stores anymore. Uh, they're high-waisted, they're super thick, but I can't find them in stores. They have the really like cheap kinds now, and I don't like, I don't really like those, but I did find these on Amazon, and these are so soft. They're like so buttery. I bought four pairs. Like I remember 
when I first saw them I, I bought one pair just to see if I like them and as soon as I tried them on after I washed them I was like I'm buying more so I have like a total of four of these and they go up super high they they pull up to like up, like up here so they're super high-waisted and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing these even after I give birth so my favorite pair of leggings probably of all time so the next thing is kind of like a hit and miss with a lot of moms but for me uh, it's a, like a must I'm bringing a robe this robe is super cute it's it's like I think it's like maybe sh shin length for me and it has two pockets on the side and a, a little tie it's super lightweight and I definitely am bringing this because I really don't like hospital gowns <laughs> I remember when I first got admitted I had to wear the gown because I didn't know otherwise but it's it's just weird like the back is open and then when you're in bed you're like tossing and turning and it kind of like pulls with you and then your back is just exposed and <laughs> I'm just like no so when I was there I had my robe I, have, I actually have a gray one similar to this and that's the one I brought but I had this washed already so I just wanted to throw this in the bag because it's already washed so this is the one I'm bringing and I think underneath that I, I just had like a like a tank top it was such a lifesaver it saved me from the gowns wearing the gowns for a week would not have been very fun so for me I'm a robe person some people aren't so um, it's really up to you if you guys want to bring your own robe but for me a robe is a must and then I have this tank top that also Old Navy as you can tell uh, I shop at Old Navy a lot and Amazon um, the robe is actually from Amazon so I'll link all that below but this super stretchy tank top is what I'm gonna wear when I first get there I guess because um, it's really nice and loose and I can move around in it it's easy to remove if I have to but it's gonna be with this paired with my my robe then I also have one of these Lamas or yoga bras the sleeping bras I bought I think three total of these and my sister told me that she actually pushed with this on and it's easy to just kind of like slip on and it's very comfortable even for sleeping I bought one just to try it out because sizing online is really hard to do um, to figure out so um, I checked on Amazon this is obviously Amazon as well so the sizing chart on Amazon was actually accurate so I bought a few more pairs and they're so comfy so I'm gonna bring one of these then my toiletry bag so I have this toiletry bag here and I just brought I didn't bring that many things actually so I just brought a shampoo conditioner my face wash which is in the bathroom still because I'm using that every day and my moisturizer toothbrush toothpaste bar of soap and mouthwash and that's pretty much it like this bag I just left in the bathroom counter and I used every single thing in here so um, yeah no more no less this is like the perfect like toiletry bag for me I didn't need anything else this bag is kind of just my maybe essentials bag <laughs> I don't really have a name for it but this is the bag that's not really toiletries but stuff I do want to bring with me it's not completely filled up yet because I still have to add things but I have chapstick because your mouth and lips are gonna get super dry when you're in the hospital and I heard that that's like one of the number one things to bring um, from other moms They're like when you're pushing your mouth and your lips are just gonna get dry and chapped and just being in the hospital for a long period of time is gonna cause you to have just dryness because of the you know the air that's circulating in there it's very dry um so chapstick must i have a couple of hair ties and then i have nipple cream in here this is the mother love mother love nipple cream which was recommended um to me by my sister she swore by this she used it a lot while she was breastfeeding and she said you can even use it before before you give birth and yeah I haven't opened it yet but heard a lot of good things this little baggie is the baby's clothes believe it or not there's there's actually two outfits in here and two beanies I know that the hospital has their own 
like clothes for the baby but um these are the clothes that i'm hoping to bring him home in if uh if they fit that's the thing so what i learned is to bring multiple outfits different sizes so a newborn size and a zero to three month possibly and preemie size so my sister when she gave birth to my nephew he was actually like six pounds seven ounces or something like that or six and a half i don't know but he was around that size and he didn't fit into any of his newborn clothes so her husband had to run to like carters as soon as they got home and buy like a bunch of preemie clothes and he actually wore preemie clothes for about a month after he was born so um i'm gonna do that as well bring some preemie outfits and i think i think one of these is a preemie outfit it's like up to seven pounds and then the other outfit is zero to three months so we'll see which one he fits into i don't know how big baby is right now but i do have an ultrasound this week so I'm really excited to find out this is a not a must but it's my Revlon um, blow dryer slash brush I'm bringing this because my hair is just so hard to manage if I don't fix it up after I shower or if I let it air dry so I brought this because people did mention to me that they brought their own air dryer at home because um you know they're like if you if you regularly blow dry your hair i suggest you bring your own and this one actually takes the place of also a straightener because I, if i had to bring this in a straightener that would be a lot of stuff and i wouldn't want to bring my straightener as well like if i take my time i'll be fine with my hair anyway because my baby hairs are the ones that are super curly my hair is naturally wavy but like I would only have to use a straightener just for like the front part of my hair but I can do that with this so I'm just gonna bring this um, and not my straightener so yeah I just decided to just bring the blow dryer um, so I could give myself a nice blowout after I get out of the shower instead of you know sitting there for like 30 minutes straightening my hair which is not gonna be something I'm probably gonna be doing so I also brought one pair of socks these are just in case um, for some reason if i get cold i'm not gonna sleep with it obviously because i don't sleep with socks but you know it's just something to have and they're not they don't take up much room so might as well bring one pair one pair of underwear some people were like oh they give you mesh underwear so you don't need underwear at all but i'm like well if i don't if i end up not liking the mesh underwear i can just wear my own underwear but then at the same time you're gonna have to use padsicles so i'm probably just gonna use one bring one yeah i'll probably bring just one because i also have this the adult undies the adult diaper undies thingies so i bought a pack for myself because people say that they like this much better than the hospital ones but i'm literally only bringing one because I know the hospital does provide those underwears like I mentioned even the nurses that were there said that they're actually really comfortable so it's actually a hit and miss some people say they like the hospital ones and some people don't so if if for some reason I do end up liking it then great um, if not then I'll use the the diaper or the, the disposable underwear then I brought a face towel just because I'm probably gonna use it to wash my face just in case I don't want to shower there or something but I do want to wash my face so I'll have that I'll have my going home outfit I'm stuck between this dress they're both dresses they're both basically maxi dresses I just don't know which one I want to wear I'm thinking this one because it's more roomy um this one's probably a little on the tight side for me but does still fit but either way I just don't want to wear pants because I just can't imagine like putting pants on after giving birth you know so i'm just gonna have a dress a maxi dress and just slip it on and go home with it and along with the maxi dresses since they're the tank top kind i'm gonna bring a nice really lightweight cardigan and then last but not least in this little baggie it's the announcement sign i'm not gonna show it because his name is in here so 
um it's like a nice wooden sign and i bought it on etsy but i'm gonna bring that just so you know you can take those cute pictures before you go home and yeah that's pretty much it that is what i'm bringing in my hospital bag it's not much i mean there's still room in my luggage so that's good and people say to you kind of leave some room because they give you a lot of stuff to take home so um yeah my my luggage is really not super full it's not packed to the brim which i'm really happy about oh i forgot one thing one important thing actually make that too okay so one thing that's not necessarily in my hospital bag but i'm gonna bring with me is my hydro flask with a straw or anything it doesn't have to be hydro flask but it has it, should, it could be like a tumbler or any kind of like large capacity um cup with a straw because you are gonna get so thirsty and dehydrated in the hospital and they do provide water for you they can give it to you in those little um jug thingies but they have to refill it and i would rather have them just give me the refills because they can bring like multiple to your room and then i will bring, put it in here because it stays cold like i'll ask for one canister just full of ice and then i'll just put the ice in here and then one with water and then put it in my hydro flask and it stays cold forever so the straw is very handy because you kind of just pop it up and just drink i still have the one that you would twist open with the handle but that's not going to be very convenient in the hospital especially when you're in labor and you're in pain and you're thirsty you're not going to want to like twist something open every single time you're, you want to drink so just any cup or hydro flask or something tumbler with a straw very very important so last but not least for me anyway this is an essential um, for some people it might not be but it's really handy to have and it is a portable fan i like this one a lot because it's rechargeable and it it charges pretty fast and it lasts a, a pretty good amount of time I would say a couple of hours and then i like that in the back it has a like a bottle that you can fill up with water so you can just spray it and then you mist yourself with it and then you can use the fan um so it's pretty it's pretty strong like if you get like at least like from here i can still feel it you can tell that it's dying when the fan starts getting weaker but to charge it up it doesn't take very long and it shows you red when it needs to, to be charged and blue when it's fully charged I actually got this idea from another mom on youtube that was sharing her hospital bag um and her name is olivia zappo she had this specific one she had it she had the link in her description and i bought it it was like only maybe 10 to 12 bucks and i like that it's rechargeable it doesn't need to be plugged in you can just have it with you you can have your partner like just fan you as you're giving birth because i can't imagine just being home i barely use blankets because i run really warm all the time so i just can't i can't even just imagine like being you know in labor and have and pushing for who knows how long i'm gonna be pushing but it's probably exhausting i'm no it is exhausting but you know that that itself is a workout so definitely needed to have this i brought this with me when i was actually admitted and it was a lifesaver because it did get warm in the room at times and this helps a lot so yeah that is all i have in my hospital bag let me know if there's anything that i'm missing or anything that you guys brought that you thought was really useful for you I'm really curious to see what other people brought as well i really do like watching these videos so that's why i wanted to record my own just to you know help another mom out there but this is like a first time mom kind of thing since it's my first baby who knows in the second baby or in the future like it might be completely different but then i could like do a, a like a quick update in the near future to see what I did end up using and what I didn't use. Yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know. This might be the last video until baby comes, so we'll see. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.